have two perfectly possible Panasonics. Do you remember the pair of pods, Panasonics, inner pods? Well, they're done, refurbished. And I do like these in a job sort of way. They're easy to take apart. They're pretty rewarding as long as they're not too broken, which both of these were a bit. And yeah, what you're left with is a pretty all right little potato. Let's have a look. We have to fit a bag and whatnot. I uh, don't actually think I've turned one of these on yet. So yeah, let's have a look and see if we've improved them. Yes, hello, my vacuum cleaner and boring 90s upright chums. How are you today? Yes, these both had the classic case. I mean, this one, you couldn't notice it too much. This one is where the transformations really happen. It's the carbon dust. The carbon dust that was making all of that bit black. I mean, you can still see it now in places where it's really ingrained in. But it's just washing all of everything up has made such a humongous difference to the whole thing. This one, I mean, it's a lot shinier for sure. I mean, you can still see, sadly, the damage. But yeah, again, it was just covered in a layer of a grime, which you couldn't see as much, so it was okay in a way. But such a transformation just with a wash. Oh, back doors are still being a pain, though. The tools are the tools. I mean, yeah, they, it hasn't changed since the before video. It is just cleaner, so this one is missing that. This one has the comical cut-off yeah, crevice tool still. But better than not having a crevice tool at all. Let us, in fact, first, I mean, we need to open this up anyway. Yeah, this one has nothing at all. And I'll, this one is similarly a bit bare, although it has its pre-motor filter. So I went into the stash and found my Panasonic stuff. Look, I have a spare, this is the white plastic bit that clamps this onto the chassis. And they always seem to get broken. So I've got one of those. Oh, we need some bags. I'm not going to have to throw these. Mr. James doesn't need that anyway. We have some bags. We... Oh. I don't know why I kept that. That's the inner foam that sits under here. These both have new foam. And actually, well, I think this one's the original one. It washed up very well indeed. And it's black. For this one, which disintegrated the moment I breathed on it, I cut up a Miele filter and hot glued it in there. So it's white, which is very nice indeed. We have two new belts, but the belts on these are fine. Putting new belts on them isn't going to make it rip through the carpet anymore at all. So we won't bother with that. And I have one post motor filter in a holder, which we don't really need at all. So while well, we got this one out, oh, now there's black foam everywhere. We will push this in, and yeah, it does push in. Oh, we're going to push it in so that hopefully, oh, the black side out so that it looks black through the grill. There we go. Push the four little tabs on there and then it slots behind the moulding so that the clips grip on. And hopefully now <laughs> we've done that back to front. I want the white side, dang it, because I think it will look ever so slightly cooler. Oh, such a wally, aren't I? Yeah. Let's try it this way round. Oh. There we go, look, nice and white, shining through the back door for oh, at least 10 minutes. Right, let's pop a... Uh, ooh, no. We need to put some filters in. And I don't actually have any OG legit Panasonic filters, so we're going to have to get arts and crafty. You should always have some random Mila filters lying around. Even the cheap pattern ones are perfect for jobs like this. And this isn't too bad anyway, really. We just need to cut it there. How do we? You, you, you want to cut it a little bit oversized. We'll go the whole way, and it's easier to do it whilst on camera. And then we can come and. Oh, I'm actually just going to cut it here. 
So again, it's a little bit oversized. Then we'll put it upside down so it's white. And there is a perfectly acceptable post pre-motor filter because they were coarse things anyway. All it really did was stop the fluff from going in the motor when the bag burst. I mean, you know, dust and grit got through anyway. So it's fine. I'm not that fussed. So with that and that on, this one is ready to, well, we'll have a quick look at the underside first, but we may as well have a look at this one too. Now this one has a pre, so that's fine. What it doesn't have is a post. So again, we have Mila to the rescue and ah, it's gonna be a little bit bodgy because we don't have the little holes for the clips, but you yeah, know, once it's in, you don't have to care. So we'll cut this one to size and then we can sort of sit it on there, that'll do. And then once it's slid into place, oh, it will look absolutely terrible. Oh, blimey, that's gonna need some work. And actually, just realized, we've possibly been a little bit silly. What we possibly do want to do is to put this one around and put it in the green one. So the black side faces out, thinking about it, now that I've engaged my brain. There we go, that one. And then I'm gonna put this one in here, so it's white. And I'll put a bag in this. Let's have a look underneath. Now underneath on these things is, well, on the white one, it's not too dissimilar really. Same base plate, all the screws were there anyway. The brush roll is very nice indeed. It was cracked on, the base plate, the hood had a split in it there, and I think that was it on this one. This one was okay, bar that. This one, obviously, was even worse and was cracked in two places on the hood somewhere. Cubon does love this plastic thing. Ooh, and underneath, well, we now have three, and I think there's a couple more somewhere, meter screws that went into the base plate to replaced the missing ones. I had to put the OG one in there and even now the bumper doesn't sit right because all of the mounting things are just crumbling apart even on this one. I th these are these are a bit cursed I think. I reckon they're going to be quite rare in the future. Oh and then I'm going to slide it all down evenly. It's a massive faff and by the end of this demo it's probably going to have come off but for now it looks okay. Let's stay with the green one because we can play and check that the power control works. So, oh yeah, well that works. That's a no. Oh, no. I can't be right. I think I need to have a quick check on that. Playing some contact cleaner on it hasn't really helped. Well, I think it's running a bit higher now. And again, it's enough for Mr. James. There's just nothing that I can do. Maybe the module's broken. However, oh, <laughs> oh, it does clean a lot better than it did, although that's a problem right there, why you need to test all your stuff once you're done. What I think I need to do is just back out the pivot screws, just a little pinch. Or you just fire some stuff at the hinge pivots and it suddenly moves a lot better. Shame about that power controller. Comment down below, have you seen that before on one of these Panasonic? And if so, how did you fix it? Oh, bless it, it does seem a little bit asthmatic. So let's come over to its more basic cousin. And in this case, it's probably gonna work in its favour. So I'm gonna turn this on and it's going to just run. Let's get the hose out and see if this has perked up a lot more. There we go. Oh! Yeah! That's very spicy. Oh, the pivot's better. Yeah, okay, that's, that's still not nice, huh? Still not great, but 
Again, the problem is it can't really seal itself to anything because the ends of the brush roll are completely open. Um, it can be a bit of an Achilles heel. And while I just don't like these enough to be that nice about them because they are the skimmy, mediocre, soft brush roll things. But, yeah, they come up very nicely. They come in lots of fun and enjoyable colours. And, yeah, they are okay but, oh, they are ageing badly. If you have one of these take, and you like it, take good care of it because they are rotting away. So, yeah, there we go. Another two jobs down. Many more to go. I thank you very much for watching. Hope that you have enjoyed. And I and some other perilous Panasonic of some description will probably see you soon. Bye-bye.